So what is this? She looks like a sweet girl. She looks like she pays attention. She's sitting at the front of the class. What's your problem? What could you possibly have as a problem? I want to meet somebody in the middle of their career. You have a clown right there. I want to meet someone in the middle of their career. What, are you trying to, like, hit on the teacher or something? This is... You're kind of getting into uncomfortable territory. I mean, you're, you're in high school. What, what are you worrying about careers for? You still got a, a waitress at some place for at least three years before you can even consider to buy a car. And then, I mean, after that, you're going to be living with your parents for so long that, I mean, buying your own house will probably not be a reality for another ten years, missy. Middle of their career. Uh, businessman? I mean, he's in the middle of his career. Oh my good lord. No way. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Where's that guy who was on To Catch a Predator? Where was that guy like, hello, I'm something or other. Would you please take a seat? I mean, really? What? Okay, so a businessman just kind of comes in. What is her name now? Million. She's not a millionaire. She's not even. Okay, now you got to attend her classes for you, businessman. This music's weird. Look at uh, what? Uh, I, uh, I just helped like some kind of sugar daddy thing go on. What? Okay, what's this? Ooh, science experiment in the mad science. We'll get to that a little bit later. I like to always kind of save those for last. What's your problem, buddy? Bully. Ooh, oh, he stuffed somebody in the locker. It's not safe for me to get out of this locker with the bully there. But don't hurt him. Oh, you're really limiting my... Uh, <laughs> oh, what? Uh, no, give, no, hat. Okay. Well, let's, let's remember who's, go. Why are you alive? Oh, pretend, it's alive. Give me that. Yeah, go, go do something else. Actually, you've become sentient. Sorry. No, stop, 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 don't, don't kill it. Okay, I know it's pretentious, but that's not a reason to kill anybody. Okay. Let's see, what are, which of the many Batman and Robin quotes can I use here? Freeze in hell? What killed the dinosaurs? Hmm. Hmm, whatever to use. Ah, I know. Here we go, this fits quite well for a high school setting. Allow me to break the ice. <laughs> Get me out of here. Uh, I'm now like... Now I can play as Maxwell's brother, Poindexter. Because, you know, doing well in school makes you a Poindexter that will never, ever succeed in life. Ugh, comic books and oh, what's this? Oh, my lunchbox that my mom packed for me. Frozen textbook. Now how will I ever learn about book geography? Book. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Look, he's just dancing in his face. Fuck you, Biff Tannen. I swear, Biff Tannen is one of the greatest cinematography villains of all time. If you can watch Back to the Future and you just don't want to rip Biff Tannen's head off, you are some kind of angel because I'm sorry, Biff Tannen is like one of the most effectively evil and well-written and well-acted. You know, it's it's one thing to say, oh, a character is well-written or whatever, but the actor who played Biff Tannen did such a good job of just creating this. I mean, all the actors, you know, the guy who played older Biff Tannen, Grandpa Biff Cannon, Young Biff Cannon. Um, Biff Tannen, not Biff Cannon. Although he did have some guns on him. Just, uh, that actor did an amazing job of making one of the most unlikable characters. Yearbook. Aw. Aw. Signed. Uh. Sure. There. Okay. I'm happy now. Hello, what's your problem, sir? son? What is it? Protect me from the dodgeballs! Um... Now it'll come in handy. Oh, I, I, who's throwing disco balls at you? Dodgeball proofing, if you say so. I mean, I gave him a force field and now he's got a helmet and tetherball. Fuck you, tetherball. Who's throwing like frozen pool balls? Throw, throwing frozen stuff at you now? That's not okay. Okay, what kind of things going on here. I'm cooking up some disco balls for the black children because, you know, they told me to put some more culture in my cooking. <sighs> place something in my pot to serve the students for lunch. Ooh, I can place and Would you really? Oh, hi, boy. Um, hmm. What would children like to eat? Pot. Well, I mean, that's... I do know a few high schoolers that uh, would enjoy... I mean, um... 
Let's see, what should I put in there? Stew. Uh, let's think of something healthy, nutritious, and delicious. Nectarine. L let's just do a nectarine. There. It, we made it into a hamburger. I didn't want you to make a hamburger. And see, now it died. The kid died. The kid, the boy is sick. What did you do? How did you fuck up a nectarine? Lunch lady, how the fuck did you... Okay. Mm. Oh, now I'm just remi remembering that Saturday Night Live, like, Adam Sandler and Chris Farley, Lunch Lady song. She's my lunch lady. Lunar Lunch Lady. Ooh. <laughs> You're not sending me to the cooler. Okay. What now? Oh, this little guy seems to have a problem. What's this? Cracked, dirty playground. Ooh, we really must be in somewhere. This playground is lame. It needs some more interesting attractions. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, that's all. That's that's okay. Strict pull. Stricken pull. There. That kind of fits with the theme. Okay, so you want something more interesting. No, I'm not going to do Ferris wheel. Let's do, um, what are those, th hold on, let me look at my suggestions. Um, ooh, here's one from Air 100. Giant flying rideable worm. Do, do, do. If this doesn't get the kids running to the, uh, here, just, uh, get on the pole. I mean, okay, fine. High school kids aren't down with the giant flying rideable inflatable worm or whatever. Uh, I really should have written telekinetic meatloaf for the lunch lady. That was another suggestion by Error 100. Well, let's see one of my... Ooh. Mm -hmm. No, I'll save that one for later. Let's try this. Can we just try... Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh... Oh no. Okay. Um <laughs> this is truly a choice for the high school kids among us. Which will you go through? Will you take the stairway to heaven or will you take the I'm not going to say the ACD song that everybody always thinks of when they think of hell. Um That's fascinating. Uh da, 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 da. What else? Mutated. Oh. What if I typed in mutated unicorn? Both the boys and the girls will love it. How about this? Ooh, freaky deaky. Hmm, which one will you go to? <laughs> which place will you go to, mutated horse? Will you go to heaven or will you go to hell? <laughs> hell, where my voice cracks forever. Um, merry-go-round. Why not? I mean, it's it's a playground. It's a playground accessory as opposed to hell. Now this is what I call a playground. Oh, wait, I need to do... Oh, I can't write limbo? What about, uh... Oh, what's the other word for limbo? Uh... <sighs> There's another word for limbo. Uh, purgatory. That's not... Okay, fine. Really? Purgatory <laughs> and hell are the same place. Okay, so you either go straight to heaven or you go to uh, very nasty looking places. You know what? You know what? Really? Can I? I cannot make hell freeze over. But maybe I can. Uh... That'd be funny if they coded that so you couldn't do it. There! I have made frozen hell. Mmm. And, uh. Boiling. Ooh, which one are you going to go to, kids? Which one are you going to go to? <laughs> I fucked this school up so bad. Uh, as if it wasn't fucked up already. I really want to shoot you. But then again, everybody does. Where'd your, where'd your wife go? Probably to spend your money. Oh, wait, no. Oh, ooh, she's paying more attention to those of us who salute the panties. Ah, that's, that's tricky business. Mmm, I'm very sorry for that. Let's, uh, let's, let's conduct some science in this mother lover. Help the student win the science fair by creating a dastardly creature. Ooh, I do enjoy dastardly creatures. We'll try to put as many thumbs on it as we can. 
It's the annual school science fair. Help the student win the by creating a life form. I think just creating a life form in and of itself is probably more than what high school students can do. First, give the pericranium a source of nutrition. Uh. Who loves orange soda? That's my question. Who loves orange soda? Kale loves orange soda. Now it needs some heat. Uh. Uh, if that's not hot enough for you, here, put the whole sun in it. Oh no. Wow, it's starting to grow. Next, I should give it something that a creature's body would need. Thumb. Have a thumb. Oh god. Now it's starting to grow. Next, I should integrate it into society. How the fuck do I integrate it into society? What? Hang on. What? I should help integrate it into society. What? How do I do that? Uh... Sunglasses, maybe? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. There, now you're the coolest motherfucker. Sunglasses again? There, don't place it inside of it. Ooh, lastly, I should give it a name. Place the letters on the canvas and then help me flip the switch. <sighs> White canvas. Um. <laughs> oh, what should I name my little creature? Okay, let's. what's a name? For a creature with no arms, one eyeball, legs, and sunglasses. There we go. He's a twat. I mean, what is that? It's a twat. Uh... Oh, and then flip the switch. Actually, I need to actually make it like a proper name. Twatty! Twatty the weird alien baddie. Hey! Throw the switch! Uh, throw the switch! Twatty! Oh, that's a big trophy. Oh, I thought that was a giant starite. Uh, what should I... Hmm. Uh, alien. There, now it's an alien starite. Whee! I think that went pretty well. Cool. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Level completed. We've made it through high school, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful. Oh, it's all slowing down and crazy and stuff. I gotta pick up my frozen book about human relations, because that's the only one I'm gonna have, is ones that are interacting between paper animals and stuff. <laughs> Snarf. Oh, lion -o. I need. I love... I fucking love, hate, snarf. I think we're done here. Don't stick your hand in that, uh, that cage there, people. The black mamba will come for you. Yeesh.